Fans of classic rock know that Eric Clapton and the Beatles came to prominence around the same time and place. But what's less talked about is that there was a brief period during the late 60s when the Beatles considered asking Eric Clapton to join them as their guitarist after George Harrison left the group. Join facts first as Eric Clapton confirms why he refused to join the Beatles. The Beatles only had a few prime years. The Beatles may be considered the most notable popular music group of all time, but they weren't together for all that long. When all is said and done, the Beatles were only a group from 1960 to 70, and much of that time wasn't taken full advantage of because they were too worried about other things. While the Beatles formed in 1960, it wasn't until 64 that the band made its famous appearance on The Ed Sullivan Show. After this, it was a quick journey to the top. The four members shortly became the most venerated celebrities in the world. Given that they broke up about a half decade later, they only had a short period of time to put together their classic oeuvre. Another thing that impeded on their time together was the fact they didn't always get along. This was especially true towards the end of the 60s, just before they broke up. The Beatles' final studio album ended up being Let It Be, released in 1970. The recording was infamously tumultuous, though that hasn't stopped the final product from becoming just as iconic as any of their works. One example of how tumultuous recording was, George Harrison quit the group during it. Did John Lennon try to replace George Harrison? The history of the Beatles is so rich that people are still finding out new things about the group. This new bit of trivia about George Harrison quitting during the recording of Let It Be came to light as a result of director Peter Jackson's new documentary, Get Back. The documentary was made for Disney+, Plus, and its aim was to document the recording process of Let It Be. One of the most shocking revelations is that George quit the group for a brief time, and also that the group considered replacing him. Though George ended up coming back to the studio to finish the recording, the remaining three members of the Beatles had begun making other plans. George had been the lead guitarist of the Beatles since the band's inception, but there was another lead guitarist the band had worked with during the recording of the White Album. Eric Clapton worked with the Beatles before. Beatles fans likely are already aware that it's not George Harrison playing the lead guitar on the track While My Guitar Gently Weeps. Though it was written by George and features him on both rhythm guitar and vocals, there was another musician called into the studio to provide lead guitar, Eric Clapton. He already had a relationship with the band thanks to coming out of the same music scene. It's easy to listen to the track without realizing that it's not George doing the lead guitar work, though the inclusion of Eric certainly makes it special. Given the chemistry he had with the Beatles already, it should come as no surprise that he was the first person that the three remaining members thought of when looking for a replacement for George Harrison. Eric would have made the perfect replacement, but things didn't end up going that way, thankfully. Still, if George hadn't come back, Eric has claimed in the years since there was no way he would have stepped on his good friend's toes by taking his place in the Beatles. Before we tell you more, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Ever wish you could earn points on every purchase instead of signing up for so many reward programs? Well, with Fetch, you can. Fetch is a super easy to use free app where you earn free rewards on literally anything you buy. Scan any physical receipt or e-receipt and you will earn points for every purchase. The purchase doesn't need to be on specific brands or items. Scan any purchase. Even if you have receipts that are up to two weeks old, you can scan them and start earning points. After you scan, you can redeem those points for hundreds of rewards, including Amazon, Visa, Starbucks, GameStop, and Walmart gift cards. Fetch is 100% free and so easy to use. Check out the link in the description, download the app now, and use the code FAXVERSE to get 5,000 points when you scan your first receipt. This is a limited time offer for FAXVERSE viewers, so be sure to check it out now. Eric wasn't willing to replace George. Recordings that have recently been unearthed show what was going through the minds of the three remaining members of the Beatles after George quit the group for a brief time during the recording of Let It Be. The recordings show there was one member of the group very anxious to hire a replacement for George. Around the same time Let It Be was being recorded, John Lennon was also in the process of putting together his solo band, The Plastic Ono Band. When it came time to pick out a guitarist for that band, Eric Clapton was the first person John had in mind. John felt similar when it came to finding a new lead guitarist for the Beatles. 
In these recordings, John can be heard suggesting to Paul and Ringo that the three of them should hire Eric to be their band's new lead guitarist if George didn't show up by the end of the recording. Thankfully, George showed back up and finished his work on the final album. Though Let It Be features all members of the Beatles on it, the four members of the group had grown so far apart by the time of its recording that many look at the album more as a compilation of solo pieces from them. Still, it wouldn't be the same without the through line of George's lead guitar work flowing through it. The reason George had quit during recording was because he felt he wasn't being given equal songwriting opportunities alongside John and Paul. Given that George's songwriting contributions to previous album Abbey Road had resulted in several of that release's most popular songs, he had good reason to want a bigger role while recording Let It Be. Let It Be became an excellent swan song. Let It Be was finished with all four members of the Beatles in the studio, and its recording also resulted in the iconic rooftop concert that the group put on just before breaking up. Though the four members were going through a lot during that time period, they managed to put their differences aside and create a great last album. George came back to the studio before John even got the chance to contact Eric Clapton. But Eric has come out saying there was no chance he would have replaced his friend George. Eric first met the four members of the Beatles during the early 60s, while he was working as lead guitarist in the classic rock group The Yardbirds. Of the four Beatles, it was George whom Eric hit it off the strongest. Eric and George remained good friends until George's death. This is despite the fact that Eric stole George's wife away from him at one point, but that's another story. According to Eric, there was no chance he would ever take George's place in the Beatles. But that didn't stop Eric from taking up John Lennon's unrelated offer to perform in the Plastic Ono Band for a brief time. Eric Clapton is still around, and he's been inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame a staggering three times. He's been inducted as a solo artist and also for his work with the bands The Yardbirds and Cream. Eric had been brought into The Yardbirds as a replacement for their original lead guitarist, and the group found more success than ever thanks to him. Eric quit The Yardbirds and formed a rock and roll trio of his own with Cream. After working with Cream for a short time, Eric became a solo artist. Now it's time to hear from you. Are you surprised to find out that the Beatles were interested in Eric Clapton replacing George Harrison as lead guitarist? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.